Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Patrick, from All Things Mathematics, just out here in Banana Beach in Thailand. Check out these views here. And I thought we could do a question. This one is dealing with grade 11 function. And so what we have to do is draw two examples of a relation that is number one, not a function. Number two, its domain is, X is an element of real numbers where X is less than or equal to positive 10 and the range is y is an element of real numbers and y is greater than negative five. So there's actually an infinite amount of ways to draw a relation like this. And that's why it's asked to provide two examples because there's actually many that we can do. So one way to do it, let's actually, with the range being y er and y has to be greater than negative five, because it's greater than negative five, let's actually put a hole somewhere on a y value of negative five. Let's actually just do it on the y axis. So let's put a point zero and negative five and let's make sure that it's a whole because it can't include a y value of negative five because it's greater than negative five, not greater than or equal to negative five. And then because the domain is x is less than or equal to 10, let's put a solid dot on the x axis at 10 and zero. And then the last thing to make sure of when we draw this relation is that it's not gonna be a function, meaning that it's gonna fail the vertical line test, meaning that at some point, there has to be an X value that's gonna have multiple Y values. And so really what we could do is draw a sideways parabola from that point zero and negative five, that whole zero negative five, make it attach to the point 10 and zero, and then make it come back and have the arrow go infinitely to the left. And notice that that would be a relation that's not a function, it's failing the vertical line test at multiple points. And it would also have a domain where x is less than or equal to 10, x is an element of real numbers and x is less than or equal to 10. And it would also have a range where y is an element of real numbers and y is greater than negative five, not including the negative five because it's a whole. Value. So what would a second example be? Again, multiple ways we can draw this relation with these characteristics. What I think I'm gonna do is deal with the range another way. And if we have a range where y is greater than negative five, so one way to deal with that is to put a hole there. But what's another way that we can represent this range where it's not gonna touch that y value of negative five, but it's gonna include all the y values that are greater than that? Well, we could put a horizontal asymptote at that y value of negative five. So as x goes towards negative infinity, y is approaching that y value of negative five, but it's never hitting that y value of negative five because it's a horizontal asymptote there. And again, we could just keep that sideways parabola shape where it's going to have that vertex at 10 and zero, and then it's gonna come back. And so again, we have a sideways parabola where this time it's not ending at that point zero negative five, it has a horizontal asymptote at that y value of negative five. And notice that this graph also satisfies the characteristic. Number one, it's not a function because it's failing the vertical line test. Number two, all the y values are greater than negative five. And then it satisfies the domain where it's x is an element of real numbers and all the x values are less than or equal to 10. And that's a wrap for the question. So I'm gonna go get back in the water. If you need help with your grade 11 functions course, check out my site, All Things Mathematics. If you need tutoring, hit me up. My contact details are on the website and I will see you in the next video. Peace.